Thank you so much to Sarah Wright Unruh for this beautiful muse. And I start out with applying masking, which is a liquid plastic you paint onto your painting. Let it dry and it will protect the white of your paper for things like white dots, white whiskers, glint in the eye. And then I start out with really watery paint, very tea consistency, very drippy. I have some Windsor Green Gold, Permanent Green Light. Here I'm using Burnt Sienna on the fawn. I'm painting around a lot of the white markings. Uh, that's Windsor Violet there, very wet and wet, just letting everything melt and merge together. That hot pink color is Holbein Opera, which is fugitive, so you need to spray it with UV protectant spray. And then I continue on with the tea consistency Windsor Violet for the underpainting for the nose and the eye and the shadow side of the fawn's face, and then continue on adding burnt sienna. And then I use a mix of Windsor Violet, Ultramarine Blue, and Lamp Black on the nose. And I'm using a smaller brush here for smaller details. And then for the eye, I start out with French Ultramarine and Windsor Violet mix. And I paint in the eyelashes and let them melt a little bit into that blue. And I like part of my eye to melt into a fur area if I can. So I'm letting the corner of the eye, the dark corner, melt a little bit into the corner of the eye socket. And I just think when you have that little bit of connection, it really makes the eye look a part of the animal instead of looking pasted on. And then I'm adding cream consistency, darker blue with opera in the middle of those flowers while the paper is still wet. So it just it kind of bleeds out softly, but not too much because I use cream consistency, which is really thick paint with just a little water added. And now I'm just going to add the finishing touches, the other eye. I had the little uh, the drawing a little bit wrong, so I had to fix it with some more burnt sienna. Now I'm taking off all the masking. And usually when I take off masking, I need to soften the edges. So um, what I decided to do was paint white gouache over some of that, um, the white spots, and that worked really well. And here I'm using white gel pen to put in some white eyelashes and some little tiny details. The most details for me go in around the eyes because that's where I want my viewer to look. Wherever you put the most detail, the most contrast, the brightest colors, the hardest edges, that's where your viewer is going to look the most. So that's what I did with my eye. I hope you enjoyed that. Now go watercolor your world. Bye, everybody.